Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you your daily message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you guys for today. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. Aries, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers are always welcome. Don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on with you for today. What is the overall energy here for Aries Universe? What is the messages? Four of Swords, it's time for you to rest and rejuvenate. It's time for you to regain your balance. With the Queen of Pentacles here, it's time for you to pull away from a situation. It's time for you to act like this Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why, but I see her as stingy. Not to be mean or not to be bogus in any way, but she's holding on to hers now. So I feel that you're definitely pulling away from a situation here that's been draining you. And you're just trying to rest and you're just trying to rejuvenate yourself. As we're all getting ready to walk into or get into this new year, you're going to be dropping burdens. You're going to be dropping burdens that no longer serve you. And you're going to be holding on to your peace of mind, your stability. You're tired of dealing with people that just burden you. And this year, 2021, you're going to make a decision to start cutting out people that no longer serve you. With the Two of Cups here, you're going to have... There's going to be a soulmate connection coming towards you, okay? Someone's going to come towards you. And this person's going to be a soulmate. This person's going to make you happy. You may be a little bit guarded because you're, you've been alone for such a while already. You've been dealing with so many things on your own. And you do feel lonely at times. In the past, you've been through a lot of situations where you've been um, deceived, lied to, cheated on, stolen. They stole from you. Not necessarily money, but your energy, your peace of mind. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you thought that things were never going to change for you. But with the with this upcoming year, there's cycles that are getting ready to close for you. There's cycles that are getting ready to end. And you're going to open up the door to a new beginning. Look at the world is 21. That's a, a number 21. So, yep, definitely cycles are going to be closing for you 2021. Where you're going to start seeing things different. The Wheel of Fortune is going to start changing for you. If you felt that you had karma, there's no more karma for you, sweetheart. Because the second you start uh, abandoning these burdens and leaving them behind, things are going to start changing for you. You're going to have a soulmate that's going to come in here. It's gonna make, he, is gonna, he or she is going to make you happy with the high priestess. You've been really praying. You've been manifesting. You've been wanting an opportunity to a new beginning. Just a whole new beginning in life, okay? And you're finally going to get that. You're finally going to have that. You're going to be moving towards truth. You're going to be moving towards a person that's not going to be lying to you. This person and you are going to... I feel that you and this person may even be moving in together, okay? Because I see this card with the Six of Swords is when people try... When someone is packing up their belongings and they're moving on and you're moving towards the truth, okay? You're moving towards a person that you're going to feel stable with. There's going to be a lot of love with this person. With the Sun in the Upright, there's going to be so much happiness with the, with the Ace of Swords here. There's going to be so much truth. This person is going to come in. He's going to be, he or she is going to be the real deal. This person is going to be the real deal. They're going to be very straightforward. They're going to tell you exactly what they want with you. And they're not going to be playing games. 2021 is going to be a life-changing year for you. With the devil in the reverse, you're going to be releasing what no longer serves you. All the toxicity that you have dealt with in the past decade, that is done and over with. That is done and over with. Okay? What else, universe? Yep, three of wands. You're going to be able to start making plans for your future. You're going to start seeing things in a whole different set of eyes. Truth is going to be spoken. You're not going to feel guarded anymore. With the two of pentacles, you're not going to feel like you have to juggle on your own. You're finally going to have someone strong, someone stable by you. Okay, with that king of pentacles, you're finally going to feel like you can fall back and rely on someone that's going to be truthful and stable in your life. What else, universe? What else for Aries here? 
And this is going to come out of nowhere with the Knight of Wands. This is just going to be some... You're going to meet this person in... You may even already know this person, but for a lot of you guys, you're going to meet this person in... I, I don't know why I'm getting like in the weirdest places. I don't know. This, this is just going to come out of nowhere for you. This person is just going to come in you and be like where the hell did you come from type of thing okay but this year you're gonna be seeing things differently things are gonna start changing for you you're gonna see so much abundance happening stability there's gonna be so many good things for you but only when you drop these burdens let's see here what is the overall message here for aries universe overall message i don't know why i can't grip these cards today wow oh my holy shit love letters okay you're gonna be getting text messages from someone that's gonna be truthful they're gonna be confessing that they're in love with you okay so this new person you're gonna you're gonna get ready to meet or you already know maybe because i have the past life here you may already know this person they're gonna start confessing their true feelings towards you and this is gonna lead into marriage you got wedding bells here 2021 is gonna be a very significant year for you aries a lot of you guys may be getting married this year all right, guys, I hope this reading gives you some type of clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. You have a good one. Bye.